you know what the internet which you are using the internet which i am using literally sucks why believe me all right all right so before directly jumping towards why web2 sucks first of all we need to understand what was web1 what is web2 and then why web2 sucks but if you are the one who already knows about the history of web then you can directly jump towards this timestamp to avoid any wastage of time and the rest of you you are late but uh, to late hyper akela nahi hai so be with me web 1.0 the earliest form of the internet and one of the big revolution which human ever experienced indeed it was the biggest revolution which we ever experienced because just try to imagine if we had to find a 5 year old document before internet and or a single sheet of information we had to find it before internet then we the people had to go through the bundles and bundles of documents then going through the years by years like sorting it through years by years then months by months and then going pages by pages and line by line to find one piece of information or one single sheet of document was such a tedious task that we can't even imagine it included like sorting then keeping it in a proper storage then putting it and it finding it so it was such a tedious process that can't even imagine but when internet came in it just literally changed each and everything like the information was ready in front of us in matter of seconds and in matter of one single computer search it replaced each and everything like labor work such as sorting it uh, placing it storage etc etc and that's why internet was considered as the biggest revolution which we ever experienced as internet came in as web 1 came in people could easily get any information in front of them within seconds and it was just a matter of one single click such a wide amount of data was available in front of them within seconds and that's why it it ultimately made easier for the people to sort amount us to sort through such a huge database but uh, as uh, every problem was once a solution as ev- and evolution never stops so people get evolved and uh, people's demand started to increase from the internet people's expectation started to increase from the internet and uh, web 1.0 no, no longer was able to fulfill their demands and expectations and that's where web 1.0 remained limited web 1.0 limited to be just reading and getting information internet and nothing beyond that like there were no video content or no audio, con- audio content was there also the websites were like static pages it was just made up of simple elements like tables and frames very less or no graphics were there uh, no graphics were there and uh, user interaction was not at all there like we couldn't do the stuffs like creating commenting sharing posting and that's why there were so less people creating the content and it was consumed by the masses and that was the reason why web 1.0 remained just to be a read only internet and the need for change came in need for user interaction came in and need for web 2 came in and that's where web 2 started so when web 2.0 came around 2004 it almost overcame all of the limitations of web 1.0 like graphics no user interaction very less people creating the content or static pages and because of that people's attention started to move from web 1.0 to web 2.0 2.0 was defined by free sorting of information self uses dynamic content and wide societal use and not just specific communities basically the people attention attention moved from a small amount of people making large amount of content for the masses to the large amount of people making even more dynamic content as web 2.0 proved to be a blockbuster therefore web 2.0 emphasized more upon ease of use participation interactivity and compatibility with other devices and systems and web 2.0 was all about end users experience where the internet giants like facebook now meta myspace youtube and amazon emerged and uh, ruled over the internet as web 2.0 was all about end users experience so people moved from personal websites to blogs and blog sites aggregation people moved from publishing to participation from static to user interactive process from content management system 
to links based on tagging website content using keywords basically web 2.0 went from user interactive internet to the hyper interactive internet which involved creating posting sharing liking commenting tagging etc 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 and that's where web 2 sucks so as i said earlier web 2.0 went from user interactive internet to the hyper interactive internet attention became the internet's native currency the age of targeted audience started the age of lack of privacy started and the internet became owned by such silicon valley internet giants yes indeed of course it is the era of the centralization of decentralization because whichever activity we do on the internet is being tracked by the companies and it is being saved on the servers of such big companies our data our own personal data is being transferred to the servers of the companies and it is being sold in front of our eyes to the marketers to the advertisers to market their products to us it's like hypocrisy on its peak and if we keep this advertisers part aside that data is so is saved on one or two single servers and that's why there are bigger chances of that get data getting hacked by the hackers and stolen and that is the reason why we can see the data breaches are happening frequently how our our data our own personal data is being uh, sold to the advertisers or marketers to market their products to us and we can't really do anything like this this power is in the hands of such big tech giants of silicon valley and internet is being dominated by such companies which provide services in exchange of our own personal data and that's where web 2 sucks okay guys thank you so much for watching this video till the very end i hope i was worth your time and if you think so then please share this video with each and every one with each and everywhere with it on twitter facebook telegram whatsapp linkedin signal everywhere and for the sake of algorithm not for me but for algorithm you must like and comment on something i'll see you in the next one bye